I know there's so many people that won't have anything special to eat on that day and to reach out to needy families and that's what my goal is. Volunteering her time to help out those in need is the way that Sandra Sveck has spent her Easter Sunday for the past 21 years. And Sandra's passion for putting others before herself is something that doesn't go unnoticed. I kind of want to be doing this a lot more too, like how she does it and runs it and a lot of people thank her. I mean, I want people to think of that about me too, that I did something good. And I can see the way that people like look at her and that it's a good thing. 100 dedicated volunteers work together to make this annual community Easter dinner happen. 700 slices of ham, 720 pieces of chicken, and dozens of pie slices were served at today's meal. A meal that filled the bellies of more than 1,000 people, but more importantly, filled their hearts. As they um, get to socialize, a lot of people live by themselves. Um, we pick people up if they'd like to come in and eat here rather than have a, a meal delivered. Um, so they just the just the human contact really, just that it is even more than probably the meal for them. Deborah Marsh has been coming to these community dinners for six years and says she appreciates how special this meal is. For people that are don't have a lot of money, it's nice that, they, that she does all these meals and um, means a lot to me that I'm able to come here to be with friends, family. 900 meals were delivered to people in need who couldn't make it out for the gathering. Without this annual tradition, Svek says that many people would just go without an Easter dinner. And I know there's a lot of people still walking around town that I haven't, you know, reached specifically, but the word does spread. And Sandra says that she could never do this alone. We have a lot of women that help and then teenagers that come with their parents and then just, um, moving tables and different things that people come in to help and say, well, I'm here for two hours and put me to work and they're, they're fantastic workers. And that's a blessing right there. A blessing to Sandra and to the community. Well, I've had people call up and they try to talk to me and then they're in tears and I get in tears because they're so thankful for what, you know, has been done. And, um, that means so much. In Traverse City, Mega Morelli, 7 and 4 News.